Hello everyone, this is Fine from Tech Gaming Villa. I hope you all are well. Today I'm going to talk about the two TV. The left side is Sony 8 x80K and the right side is Samsung CU8000. The Sony X80K is an entry-level TV in Sony's 2022 lineup. It replaces actually the previous Sony X80J and sits between the Sony X75K and the Sony X85. Compared to the higher-end models, it's pretty bare in terms of features as it lacks any variable refresh rate, support and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, and it's limited to a 60 hz panel. Still, it comes with the same Google TV interface that has a ton of apps you can download. And it's compatible with Sony's proprietary TV webcam, so you can use it to make video calls or for hands-free gesture. It also comes with Sony's redesigned remote which still has a built-in mic for voice control letting you use various voice commands it's powered by sony's entry level 4k hdr processor x1 and it offers a few motion enhancement features powered by sony's 4k x reality pro processor on the other hand the samsung cu8000 is one of the entry level models in samsung's 2023 lineup replacing the samsung au8000 in north america it's part of samsung's crystal ultra hd series of TVs sitting above the Samsung CU7000 or CU7000D. It completes, competes with the other entry-level models like the Sony X80K and LG UQ8000. It's a simple model that lacks features like variable refresh rate and HDMI 2.1 support, except on its 85-inch screen size. It uses Samsung's Crystal Processor 4K, first introduced in 2020 and designed to provide powerful 4K upscaling. It runs a simplified version of Samsung's 2023 Tizen operating system interface which offers most of the features of more advanced models but with a reduced feature set meant to run smoothly on this entry-level TV. It comes with the same great remote as more expensive models like the Samsung S95C and it supports voice controls to make it easy to find your favorite content. So if you compare with this Sony X80K, the Samsung CU8000 is better than the Sony X80K. The Sony X80K uses an IPS panel, which gives it a wider viewing angle than the CU8000. The CU8000 has a VA panel, so it has far better contrast and better black uniformity. The CU8000 also has far superior low quality content smoothing and can remove 24p jutter from native apps. However, the X80K has a traditional RGB subpixel layout, so it displays clearer text when used as a PC monitor than the CU8000, and it gets a bit brighter than the Samsung in both HDR and HDR. The X80K also supports pass-throughs of DTS audio formats as well as a 7.1 uncompressed LPCM signal. Though X80K has some plus points over Samsung CU8000, X80K also looks very impressive. TV. So, what's your thought? Which TV you choose? Sony X80K or Samsung C8000? Please write in the comments below. That's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications updates. Thanks for watching.